Hello, I'm Dr. Kathy Bolin, Director of the Exercise Science Program. Welcome to Lewis University and the Department of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. We're happy you chose Lewis University and can't wait to have you on campus this fall. You will be joining about 70 current majors who are passionate about the field of exercise science. Exercise science is a field of study that pertains to people at every age across the lifespan and all levels of function. The goals of most exercise scientists are to maintain or restore health or function or to enhance athletic performance for their clients. A degree in exercise science prepares graduates to work in a variety of settings and builds a strong foundation for those wishing to attend graduate school. Why are you interested in studying exercise science? Maybe it's because you see it as a path to physical or occupational therapy, or maybe you want to work with athletes, or maybe it's because you enjoy working out and figured it would be fun. Regardless of why you chose exercise science, we hope you see the value of the knowledge and skills you'll be learning in upcoming semesters. You'll learn more about all the ways you can use your degree in the Introduction to Exercise Science course this fall. Exercise Science is an undergraduate program in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. In addition to exercise science, the college offers programs in nursing and graduate programs in occupational therapy and speech language pathology. More and more, healthcare requires a collaborative approach to achieve success. We're excited to share the role exercise plays in preserving and maximizing health. Throughout the program, you can expect to learn from competent and caring professors. Let's take a minute to meet our full-time faculty. As I mentioned before, I'm the director of the exercise science program. I've been teaching at Lewis for over 20 years, originally working in the athletic department as a certified athletic trainer. Professor Becky Cozy is an alum of Lewis. Prior to teaching at Lewis, Professor Cozy worked in cardiac and pulmonary rehabilitation in a local hospital. Many of you will have the chance to work with Professor Cozy this fall as she teaches the Introduction to Exercise Science course. Faculty member Sarah Freddy is the newest member of the Exercise Science faculty. She will be starting at Lewis this fall after finishing her PhD from Rocky Mountain University of Health Sciences. Professor Freddy is originally from Georgia and has a background in the Exercises Medicine program. In addition to these full-time faculty, a variety of adjunct professors will, with expertise in a particular area will also teach courses in the Exercise Science curriculum. Speaking of the curriculum, last year the Exercise Science program was updated. The new curriculum follows a logical sequence that I'd like to share with you now. Initially, students will take foundational coursework in anatomy and physiology, become familiar with various types of exercise, and gain an appreciation for the field of exercise science. Next, students will begin applying this foundational knowledge in courses such as exercise physiology, nutrition and health behavior. You will learn how movement and skills and patterns develop at an early age, what normal movement looks like, and finally how movement changes as people age. Finally, you will learn to assess and measure various dimensions of fitness and health. With an idea how the body responds to exercise and what movement should look like, you will learn to prescribe exercise initially for healthy people and then for other populations. As a senior, you will work with a client in the capstone course and complete an internship in a setting that coincides with your career goals. 
Each semester, you will meet with an advisor. Together, you will select major courses and courses to fulfill general education requirements. These meetings are also a great time to talk about your plans after graduation. We want to be sure you are competitive for whatever your next step will be. Lastly, I wanted to give you a few suggestions for a successful fall semester. You should plan to spend about five hours each week on each three credit hour course on your schedule. Sometimes it will be a little more, other weeks it will be a little less. Communicate with your professors. Each of them wants to see you be successful in their course. Reach out to ask for help and to clarify confusing material. Office hours are a great time when faculty are available to meet with students. Other times are often available by appointment. Make class a priority. Plan to attend each class meeting. Try to avoid making doctors or other appointments during class times. Communicate with family and friends that it is important for you to be in class. Oftentimes, readings or other activities will be assigned in preparation for class time. Do your best to complete these activities. You will have a more meaningful class experience and likely your grades will be higher too. It's not uncommon to have difficulties during your college career. Reach out to your advisor for questions, concerns, or advice. They're here to help, listen, and connect you with campus resources. Finally, take advantage of the numerous campus activities. Regardless of your interests, there is likely something to do and people to meet. In addition to classes, colleges for meeting new people, expanding your thinking, making memories. Have fun. In conclusion, welcome to Lewis. I hope your time here is worthwhile. I look forward to meeting you face-to-face -face on campus in the fall. Take care and enjoy the rest of your summer.